that seem to busy your mind a day, productivity is on the minds of many. But instead of downloading the latest time management app or forcing yourself to stay at work for hours on end, how can we use science to crack open the potential of our minds? Is there a secret to being productive? The first thing to come to terms with is that your willpower is simply not enough. In fact, some studies suggest that willpower is an exhaustible source that can be entirely used up. This is a concept known as ego depletion. So instead of convincing yourself to simply try harder, a more methodical approach is suggested. The first step, get started. It may seem obvious, but studies have shown starting a project to be the biggest barrier to productivity. Before starting, our brain visualizes the hardest parts to come and instead tries to simulate real work by focusing on small, mindless tasks. Luckily, there's a construct of the mind known as the Zagarnik effect, which compels humans to finish a task that they've already started. The Zagarnik effect shows that when we don't finish a task, we experience discomfort and intrusive thoughts about it. So get started, now. What about time management? Shockingly, when we look at some of the most elite musicians in the world, we find that they aren't necessarily practicing more, but instead more deliberately. This is because they spend more time focused on the hardest task and focus their energy in packets. Instead of diluting their effort over the entire day, they have periods of intense work followed by breaks. Not relying on willpower, they rely on habit and disciplined scheduling. Studies have found that the most elite violinists in the world generally follow a 90-minute work regime with a 15-20-minute to 20 minute break afterwards. Instead of trying to maintain energy throughout the entire day, breaking it down into sessions with planned relaxation is most effective. But how can you develop the discipline to follow this routine? One key component is giving yourself a deadline. Write it down, mark it in your calendar, and you'll be much more likely to complete your task. On top of this, create something called an accountability chart to document your progress. In one column, write the time span, and in the other, the activities you accomplished during this time. Similar to those on a diet who document their food intake, writing down your progress allows you to realistically evaluate your work as opposed to inaccurately assuming what you've done. Furthermore, tracking your progress helps to avoid small, mindless work. And finally, stop multitasking. While it may feel like you're accomplishing more, studies show that multitaskers are much less productive. Instead, try and make a list at night of what you want to accomplish tomorrow. This way, you hit the ground running with your action plan and avoid trying to complete multiple activities at once. While you're at it, split up your large tasks into smaller bite-sized ones. Your brain will find these less daunting and it will make the starting process easier. With a clear goal and action plan in mind, your productivity levels can soar to new heights. Want more tips and information on productivity? Check out Gregory Ciotti's blog, Sparring Mind, who we worked with to make this video. We'll link to the productivity article in the description where you can find even more information. And be sure to sign up for his newsletter, which covers other amazing brainy content. Got a burning question you want answered? Ask it in the comments or on Facebook and Twitter. And subscribe for more weekly science videos. finding yourself behind at work or school? Do you arrive at the end of the day and realize you've accomplished nothing on your to-do list? Well, odds are you're not very good at time management. And that is not doing your psychological health any favors. In fact, a study published in Work and Stress found that workers who didn't productively manage their time felt less in control of their lives. Here's the good news. You can get better. Paying attention to how you spend your time will help you manage it more effectively, and we're going to help you learn how to do just that. Today on Wellcast, we're going to get you in control of your day with our Rack Method, recording, analyzing, and changing. Three easy steps to great time management. Pause and print a copy of our handy Wellcast Day Planner. Finish printing? Let's dive in. Step one, recording. When you wake up tomorrow, note the time in your day planner. As the day progresses, write down everything that you do. 
Yes, we mean everything. The 10 minutes you spent getting dressed. The half day of productive work. The hours you spent between social networking sites. We mean it all. Keep this up from the time you wake up until you go to sleep. Step two, analyzing. At the end of the day, go through the schedule and highlight any chunks of time that you don't feel were used productively. Pick out your five biggest time wasters in your day. Be honest with yourself. You spent a half an hour by the coffee machine talking to your coworker. You spent an hour on Facebook and You stared into space for 20 minutes. Come on, you get the picture. Especially focus on the time wasters at work. Why? A study published by the British Medical Journal says that workplace stress is minimized by effective time management. It also says that workplace stress bleeds over into home life and undermines a relaxed life at home. Here's the ugly part. Add up all the time you wasted. How much productive time did you blow on activities that got you no results? Step three, changing. Now it's time to come up with a way to get that time back. Here are three ways to change your time-wasting habits and become a better time manager. Prioritize. To-do lists are a really effective way to manage your time and your priorities. Limit the number of tasks you have on this list to five and assign rankings to them in order of importance. (laughs) Declutter. Not only is decluttering great for your health, but you won't waste time digging around piles of stuff to find that one piece of paper that you really need. Check out our Wellcast on Clutter for some helpful tips on lightening your load. Schedule. Hey, we all try to kill two birds with one stone, but odds are multitasking will actually just stress you out and delay you even more. Instead, set aside blocks of time for individual activities. For each activity, set start and stop points. This way your day is cleanly segmented. Then stick to this schedule. Try going one week using these tips to reduce your wasted time. At the end of a week, go figure out where you've improved your time management skills and how much time you've saved. Let's recap. Today you learned how to manage your time better by using our Wellcast Rack Method. You recorded, analyzed, and hopefully changed how you use your time. And you did this by learning how to prioritize your most important tasks, declutter your workspace to save you time, and you learned how to build yourself an effective schedule to block out your day. Hey, how did Rack work for you? We want to hear how much time you were wasting and how much you're saving now. Tweet us at WatchWellCast, email us at WatchWellCast at gmail.com, or leave a comment down below. We'll see you next time.